Um, Would you like to play a game involving penguins? Yeah. Excellent. Great. So, what I've got here is an aerial photo of penguins seen from the sky. Can you see individual penguins in that red square? No. no. Okay, what you can see is brown stuff. What, what might brown stuff be that penguins produce? Poo. Poo, absolutely. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the penguin poo to work out how many penguins are in this red square. So where have you seen penguins more locally than the Antarctic? The zoo. The zoo, absolutely. Okay, so using your imagination a little bit, I'd like to introduce you to my zoo penguins. So what I'd like you to do is to pick three penguins. Okay, what have we got? Great, and would you like to pick a penguin as well? Yeah. Okay, underneath each you can see the amount of poo that they produce in a year. So the first thing we need to do is to calculate the mean. Mm -hmm. What do you understand by the mean? You add them all together and then you divide them by how many you've got. Fantastic. So would you like to use my oversized calculator yeah. to work out the mean? So we've got a 14, a 21 and a 24. And what do we get? Okay, 19.7 metres squared mm -hmm. on average per penguin. Okay, so now we need to combine the total surface area, which is 150,000 metres squared, with the area, um, the mean amount of poo. So how can we combine those two things? Yeah, divide 150,000 by 19.7. Fantastic, would you like to do that for me then? Divide by 19.7. Great, and what have you got? 7,614. So you've just worked out, using a, an aerial photo of poo and some zoo penguins, that there are 7,614 penguins in that red square. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And that's how we can work out a lot of things. We use a sample yeah. to work out something about a population. So as a thank you for taking part, you get to take home a tiny little dice.